Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario World for the none other console than the Super Nintendo, in my opinion. Probably the best video game console ever made. Okay, let's not get in too into that because there's probably so many different opinions on the favorite console. Really, I cannot get into Xbox, like Microsoft gaming, because it's just, I don't know, it's too new age, it's too, I don't know, like, it has no retroness to it. Maybe the original Xbox, not the first, like, I mean the first Xbox, not the Xbox One, which I think is a horrible name, but, um, I think... It has a, just not a very good retro feel to it. Okay, I, I'm, I'm ranting about another console. What I got right here was a feather, and it was from a green exclamation point, I believe. I don't think that was a green star. So, um, I'm actually going to turn it up a little bit. Uh, this might be really loud. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely loud. Maybe it's just this song. That it don't seem that loud. What? I, th I didn't think the Koopa went that low. I thought they kind of stayed just right underneath the block, but little Mario could fit underneath. All right. Anyways, we'll get to see the green exclamation point. Big uh, little Mario can go straight to Super Mario by getting the feather. And since we hit the green switch palace, we get the we get the chance to hit the green blocks okay what don't 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 no on, what the? okay i do want to go up there i do want to go up there okay just go up there jeez now if i yoshi it would be a lot easier because i just fly through all this because there's a little secret well i want to say secret there's a little neat thing yoshi can do okay i'll explain later you can slide the screen left or right by Pressing the L or R buttons on top of the controller. You may be able to see further ahead. Don't hit him. Ahead. Jeez, I'm an opera singer. Okay. Yes, you can hold an R and do that. But you can only do it to a certain extent, which... What? What? Yeah. This ain't one, uh, Super Mario Bros. 1 where um, once you go so far, you can't go back. Yeah. You can actually go back and level, which I like. Uh, Super Mario Brothers 2, you can do that too. And also, Super Mario Brothers 3, you can go back in the level. Okay. And when, when you get checkpoints, which I probably have not explained yet either. Um, if you get a checkpoint as little Mario, you will become Big Mario. But if you are, like, already Big Mario, you will not become Super Mario or Fireball Mario. So that's pretty neat. I mean, it, it kind of be cheap. Like, too simple. Okay, let's actually try to get this. Oh my gosh! Fail. No! Mm, I had it, man. I'm going to just repeat the last pattern. Yes, got one up. If you do it correctly, you'll get a one up. Yes. Okay, sorry about the raging. Like, I guess I'll take it too personal. How many? Is that three one ups? That's pretty good. I think that was three out of five. Maybe three out of six. I can't count, you know. You gotta watch out for these little fuzzy things. They tell you the names of the characters at the end of the game. What a spoiler. Who cares? Okay, you get a one-up. Only 17 points. I think that at the very top you get 40. And at the ghost houses is 50. Don't hold me to that. That might be wrong. But we finished the third level of the second world. Well, the third donut plane, which is actually the fourth level because there's a ghost house right before it. And now we are on donut planes for... The level right before the castle, and this level kind of blends in right beside the castle, but it's still um grasslands. Hold on one sec. There, I believe we are fine now. Seems like the the music in this world is the same as the second world with the uh, grassy plains, the donut plains and grassy donut. What's this world called? Donut something. I don't know. I keep forgetting. Okay. There, there is a, a yellow Koopa. In which, if you get close to it, I guess a 
uh, the little Koopa will jump in the um, yellow shell, and the shell will like light up like different colors pretty much, but it's mainly still yellow, if that makes any sense. That might be kind of confusing. So, and it will try to hurt you. If it runs into you, it will obviously hurt you, but um, I think it, like if it hits Big Mario, it takes two hits, just like any other enemy. Okay. That was kind of a waste, like, there was no point in that. I don't even think there was a dinosaur. Now, if you see these pink smiley faces that look like triangles, or say are triangles, you can run up of them if you hold extra Y. There, okay. Now, I believe if you fly up in the air, you can get to some clouds. I really like the color of the blue shell. Okay, I could have got um, a one-up. Okay, what the... Does any of these... To give you the chance to go up in there. Oh yeah, if you do the spin by yellow block, it'll make you make that spin. Okay. Fly! What? Yeah, it's up there. What? Oh, am I gonna have enough room? I want to see what's up there, man. I want. I want the secret prize. What's the secret prize? Okay, I got it. Which just some coins. Nothing big about coins. Okay. Okay, I believe if you go in this blue tunnel, you can get some more coins, which is kind of boring. Now, this is a chance to get a 1-up. If you keep jumping on Koopas, like this, you'll get a 1-up. I think it takes 10. I got a 2-up. Ain't that neato? Neato Frito up in this Lay's chips bag. Okay. Another checkpoint. I don't know why some checkpoints are higher than others. It really don't make sense. Okay, and we, I think we, what, we're already running out of time? We're like halfway through the level, I think. No, we're pretty close to the end. These guys, um, they're kind of annoying. Okay, let's get the star. The star is the best pickup item at this point right now, like in, like for this level, because you have so many enemies and you get another chance to get a one-ups. See, there's different chances to get one-ups in this game. And I actually got the bonus points of 26. And, like, if you hit a certain amount of enemies in a row with a star, you'll get a 1-up. If you hit a certain amount of enemies, like, jumping on them, like, just holding an MB, that will give you a 1-up. As you see, we did that twice. We got, like, three yups from the total of that. Okay. Now, I'm actually kind of confused at this point in time because... I don't know if I should go ahead and do the castle. I think I'm going to save that for next part. What I'm going to do is I'm going to redo this level. And the reason being is that there is a secret. Okay. Obviously, i got to fix this because it's a pain. Or do I even have to? Hopefully not. Okay, I can probably fly through this world. Okay, what's up here? Bunch of coins. Chance to get coins. In this level, you can get a lot of one-ups. Okay. Who needs you, Yoshi? Huh. Nah. We'll use them as another hit. See, there's a football player that throws baseballs. Okay. I like Yoshi on this level because he can eat a lot of the enemies. Especially that fireball-throwing plant. Okay. And I don't see a point in grinding for lives because... Well, it resets every time, like, I save it and turn off the console and turn it back on. So, no point. And, um, but, I mean, if I get the chance, I'm going to get some 1-ups, because I'm obviously not going to go through a no-death run. Okay, main thing is get through this to the end. You cannot get Yoshi, I mean, get this secret with Yoshi. You pretty much got to get rid of him. And since we got this uh, green block switch... Sorry about that. Oh, they're going up. What is going on? Alright, just hold on a sec, guys. There. Jeez. I mean, I got to go through so many different brightnesses. Oh, I was talking about, yeah, since I got the green block, um, Switch Palace, I can get, run up this. It enables you to run up to this, and we've seen the key before 
and I believe the second level was in the cave level. And now we can go to the secret. Yes. So many secrets in this game. This game is full of secrets. Like, you have not seen anything yet. Now, we have a water world, which I kind of hate, to be honest. I really do not like water worlds. And I will avoid this one type of fish as much as possible. Because it will stalk you. It is a pain. Now, I will probably beat this the regular way first. It is that enemy right there. That one that was just above the blocks. Yes, I hate that enemy. It will follow you like a little stalker. Now, what's up this? Okay, what's up this tunnel? I don't think it's really anything important. Oh, this is where you can float in the air. Do I even want to bother? I guess I'll show it for the sake of showing it. What? Get it. This is called a P balloon, I guess. And if you hit the Koopa, you'll obviously um, get hurt and fall. And there's no fall damage in this. <laughs> it's not Super Mario Sunshine. Okay, now. Yes, he will start doing that. He will start panting. Oh, it's the same physics as, um. Okay, I got it somehow. There's probably like a dinosaur coin up here. Like maybe a few. Because water worlds ain't really that. I mean, water levels. I say probably worlds a lot. And I mean level. What's that? A one up? Okay, cool. Uh, the water levels don't seem that long. At least for now. Um. I really do hate the water levels, though, because, like, you do not really have full control. You do have somewhat control, but it, it works the same as ice, like, ice worlds and walking on snow or ice. Oh, gosh, you, but you do, you can go up in the air a little bit. Okay. All right. Move. No! Okay, stalker. I'm going to fire you. Fireball! Oh, what the heck? How, how did I survive? Okay, now the secret I'm passing up. I'm just going to beat this the normal way. So we can actually, um, it shows what it does. Okay, I want that dinosaur coin. I don't know why I call it dinosaur coins. Dang. Okay, get away from me. Okay. Yeah, there's the keyhole. We can't do it yet. This video might be a little bit longer because I'm doing the secrets. Like, I'm beating the no this, uh, levels the normal way. Jeez, you can get really low to the ground. Yes! Okay, can we cut the tape? We might be able to actually show the um, the bonus game with a tic-tac-toe. Three in a row, you know. 16 lives, man. I've got 11 lives in 13 minutes. All right, that enables you to go straight up, which it don't really make sense. You're just doing another level, like you do the first level, do the cave, the ghost house. Or you do the first level, do a secret level, and then go to the ghost house. That's stupid. Now we're going to do a secret which enables us to go where? Or if you're looking on the overworld and pretty, I mean, kind of closely, you can see that it's going to go to the ghost house. Ooh, what a spoiler. Now, if I told that earlier, that would be a spoiler. No! Just go, go away. Go, go, go away. I'm not even going to fool with you guys. No point in uh, going in that tunnel. Alright. Now, I do like the music. Listen. Okay, main goal is to get this key. Okay, okay, that ain't a key. That's a fire flower. Okay, and you can get this blue blocks and hit them. I think I will. Okay, that did nothing. Oh, move! Gosh, yeah, you might hear me rage a little bit, especially in this part, because like it's kind of hard to get this um key. Yeah, you carry the P block while swimming. It, you look kind of funny. You. Your belly's all chubby. I don't think Luigi is as chubby in this game. Of course, when you play two-player. Okay, okay. The main thing to do is don't get hurt. No, don't kick it. Okay. Step on the P block. Because you know I got P right. No! Just get in the hole. That sounded really wrong. But that is how you get the secret. And pretty much the secrets in this game are either, like, hidden, obviously, or you just... You have to carry a P block or a, a key to a, a certain place where there's blocks, and you step on the P block and becomes co becomes coins, and so it enables you to get underneath those blocks or inside those on the other side of those blocks. So now we have the donut secret house, and this will enable you to get in the tunnel. Now I'm debating like, should I just keep going? 
like after this level or should I stop it? I can obviously save it after this level. I don't think I need to fly in this level. Yeah, this ghost house ain't that bad. Um, I mean, I might be a little bit rusty on it, but there's not much to it. They're not that long. They're usually just uh, at one area, a door, then another area, and then you gotta figure out how to get out. I mean, I just say the pattern. That's not always how it works. Okay, now, if you didn't know about the booze, the booze work like this. If you look at them, they'll stop and cover their eyes. But if you look away, they'll come after you. Yes, that is how they work. See, he's coming after me. I'm not looking at him, but I look at him. He stops. So he's pretty much a scaredy cat. Okay. Now, to get out of here, who knows? No, I'll figure it out. It's probably simple. It's probably, um, you have to go through a blue door. You just gotta, uh, uh, go through some coins. Yeah, break these, I mean, not break, collect these coins so whenever you hit the P block, they don't come blocks. Okay, watch this. Watch me. There are five entrances to the Star World and Dinosaur Land. Find them all. You can travel between many different places. All right. Thanks for spoiling that, uh, Nintendo. Okay. Do not go in that door. Carry this P block over here. Step on it so these blocks will appear, and you can. No! 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 Wrong. Wrong. How do I get it out here? Oh, I gotta redo that, man. What? Okay. Let's try that again. You go, you don't go in that door. You always go in the, not always, but usually it's the P door. The, the P door. The blue door. It's PETA. This is how you get out of here. Now, I want to get the bonus. So let's get the bonus, guys. So I can sh show you. 21? Oh my gosh, that's not enough. I need seven more. You know what? I'm going to do the next level. And probably the castle. Jesus, beat all this, man. Continue to save. That's how you actually beat the ghost. Donut, secret house. Go through this tunnel. You think, oh, it goes, it goes to that tunnel up there on the um, overworld. Welp, you thought wrong. You get to see the overworld of the final boss. Of final world, seventh world. Yes, there are seven worlds in here. Not eight worlds like Shamar Brothers 1 and 3. Uh, you know what? I'm doing this level. I'm doing Donut Secret 2. It's going to be a longer level, guys. What? What's this about? Now this thing, you can... It's very confusing. You'll, I'll be able to show it more in the, later on. It's wherever you look in the direction the coins are going to go after you hit the block. What? Why didn't they turn into... Um, why didn't they turn into a block? Okay, let's go up here, I guess. I to, is this a P block? No, it's a star. A chance to get a one up. Okay, that's really annoying. Even for me. Okay, I'm gonna edit this. There. Alright. Am I out of star power? Yes, at the very last moment. Okay, I can't go up that tunnel. What's it still doing? No, don't go down there yet. Okay, watch out for this Koopa. Wow, how did I not hit that? I don't think you have to get out of this place a secret way. No, what? why didn't it run into the Koopa? You cannot... No! You cannot kill these red spike enemies with the... Um, Fire flower. Yeah, I held in the B button. Okay, let's try to get the one up. I mean, the bonus game. Yes, we got it. 18. Didn't need much. I only needed seven, but I'm not going to do a mini jump. Look at Mario. He's running so fast in my eyes. I hope you can see that. Yes, we get to see the bonus game. And this is a no timed area like the top secret area and also um, Yoshi's house. Now, there is like, like a trick to this, but you just got to. Watch it. I would like to get a 9-up on this. Okay. Okay, I'll probably get a 4-up uh, now. Now, if I got... Yeah, it'll be a 4-up. If you get all flowers in that scenario, because the main thing is get the block that's in the middle 
all the same. And if I got all fla fire flowers, I would have got nine one ups. Okay, I guess I'll continue. It's been a pretty long video. Alright, so we beat the secret area. Now I will defeat Morton's Castle. Um, yes, I will do that. But I will do that in the next part. This has been a really long part, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play a donut house. Donut Ghost House and save it, and then I will be able to do the next boss. So thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more, and keep it classy. Oh my gosh, that was corny. Bye.